In the city's latest reindustrialization effort, a nanotechnology production plant opened in Hong Kong. It sets sights not just on medical and textile goods, but also on Hong Kong made aerospace material. Jackie Lin took a look at the production line. Cheers! Reviving the made in Hong Kong concept as this nanofiber production center of nano shields kicked into gear in Cheng Kuan today. Secretary for Innovation, Technology and Industry Sun Dong said the endeavor showcased a brand new reindustrialization model of Hong Kong. That is to turn frontier research work right into production locally before companies scale up manufacturing in Greater Bay Area factories. Overall, the government will earmark $10 billion for accelerating advanced manufacturing of strategic industries, including life science and AI. Nano Shoots was awarded $50 million under the government's reindustrialization funding scheme. With an annual output of 10 tons, the Hong Kong made nanofiber material is light, flexible, and breathable and can be made into high caliber filter, medical, beauty, and garment products. But pivoting to manufacture locally was not easy. It's a huge challenge there, huge. Nanotechnology is a very sensitive material, very sensitive. No matter one degree of temperature change or even 0.1 percent of the moisture change, that will impact and damage the material. Certainly, I mean, the uh, geopolitical tension has effect. But because of that, we need to invest more in technology and innovation and drive the economy forward in a different Know, along a different path, instead of only relying on financial services trading. Nanoshoes partnering Czechia-based company noted Hong Kong's potential. Development with all the background of the universities in Hong Kong, I believe like there is a huge potential. Research partnership is also underway with former HKUST president Professor Wei Shi on manufacturing aerospace-related material in Hong Kong. The bulk of the manufacturing process here is automated, including scanning and spinning. So all four production lines here only require six engineers to monitor and manage every day, cutting the manpower cost by almost half. Jackie Lin, TV News.